Zarif Hussain says, uh, he wanted to know if angels will not enter my house if I keep pictures which are not exposed. If those pictures are not exposed, no problem. The hadith which is collected by Imam Muslim is referring to that Jibreel السلام, did not enter the house of the Prophet السلام, because there was a dog and it entered, it slipped into the house or there was a curtain which has an image of a bird and as you know that the Prophet وسلم, ordered the curtain which have an image of a bird to be torn apart and to be used as a liner for a cushion because he said that the angels would not enter a house which have an, a dog in it and uh, or a picture an image an image of what an image of a living being like human beings or animals like the but the pictures of the nature such as the trees and rivers uh, the space and the mountains there is no problem with that if the pictures of the living beings are being distorted or incomplete there is no problem with that likewise like uh, a, a, an incomplete image no problem or as the brother say brother uh, Zafi, Zarif said if those pictures are not exposed that too is fine and it does not prevent the angels from entering the house I would like to I remind the brothers and sisters that for all of us we haven't seen angels yes indeed we haven't and uh, whatever we know about them is from Muhammad peace be upon him so when it comes to the same source who told us that, that the angels are around us and their presence is a sign of mercy and a mean of protection and when they enter the house that satans are expelled that we believe in that part and we also believe that in what he said in the sound hadith that having those images or statues would definitely prevent the angels from entering the house because we have some people who are trying to be uh, westernized not modernized rather westernized by saying that how could a picture prevent an angel from entering the house well do you believe that there are angels yes and how do you know well the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said so and he named some cool well, he also said that those angels would not enter the house if it has either a dog, a statue, or a picture that is hung against the wall of a living being. So, أَفَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِبَعْضِ الْكِتَابِ وَتَكْفُرُونَ بِبَعْضِ Allah the Almighty condemned the people of the book for accepting some of the book and refusing some of it. This is not the tradition or the attitude of the believers. The believers believe in whatever Allah and His Messenger, peace be upon Him, have informed them with. It is all ghaib for us. It is entirely unseen to us. We didn't see Jibreel salam. We didn't see any of the angels. But we know about them and of them from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So similarly, if he says that what prevents Jibreel from entering is such and such thing, then we must believe in that and follow that accordingly.